Good morning everyone. I am Rishali Bhanakar, Assistant Professor, IT Department. In my last HCI uh, session, we learned about Unit 1, that is Introduction, Unit 2, Understanding Human, and Unit 3, Understanding Interaction. Hope you have watched my all previous videos. Now, from in this session, we will start our fourth unit, that is HCI Design Process. And the first unit in this point is Introduction of Design and Interaction Design. In this video, I will give you just introduction about interaction design. So let's see what is meant by interaction design. Next. The main points are covered in this video, which includes what is design and interaction design, constraints of interaction design, needs of interaction design, golden rules of design, and some HCI design framework. So let's see one by one. The first point is what is design and interaction design. Next. So what is design and interaction design in human computer interaction? In my last videos, we learn about interaction design and some uh, introductory part about that. So design means plan, structure, model of the particular product or how your model looks like in future. This is called as design. And interaction design defined as user-oriented field of study that focus on meaningful communication of media between people and the technology. So interaction design simply means the communication between user and the system. Right? Interaction design means to design interactive system and its services. Designer must focus on how user interact with the system what services are required and supported environments for system design. I will give you one example. For example, WhatsApp. We all are familiar with all the social medias. So, WhatsApp is most interactively designed, right? So, developer thinks that which types of services are provided to the user, that is chatting applications, video call, audio call and some other applications or services also. So user interact with the WhatsApp or other social medias and use those apps as per the requirement, right? So interactive design includes computer applications, websites, smartwatches, sensors, satellite navigations, GPS, social medias, some interactive books are available online, then games, healthcare technologies, reservation system, calculating system and digital things. So all those things or all those appliances includes interactive designs, right? Next. The next point is needs of interaction design. So a uh, developer thinks so many things about how to design a particular product, how to design a particular systems, right? So needs of design is based on three parts, that is goals, constraints and trade-off. Before start the designing part or before start the particular uh, designing applications, right? The goals are what is purpose of design? You must know about what is the purpose of design Why you design the particular product. You must know answers of all that questions. Then who is going to use this design? What is expected from design and why design is required, right? For example, banking applications. So purpose of design is it's easy to handle all the customers and uh, all the all the persons or stakeholders that work there, right? Who is going to use this design? All the customers of that particular bank use those appliances. What is expected from design? So this design is suitable or easy to understand of each and every people, whether the people are technical and non-technical. And why design is required? Because it's easily uh, provide all the services, online services as well as offline services, right? So these are the goals of that particular design. Next, constraints. Constraints means what material going to be used, what standards going to be implemented, what can be the cost, how much time required for develop, is there any safety and health issue, and is it support old video file format. Let's take one example, for example WhatsApp, right? What material going to be used? Material simply means what types of operating system, processes, whether you will run that particular product, right? What standards going to be implemented? 
you know the standard of your applications right so for, for example whatsapp youtube they have the proper design and proper interactive system so user attracted towards that they have the high standard right what can be the cost how much time required for development and is there any safety and health issue you must know about all those things okay so some uh, youtube videos supports old video file format some applications okay and some applications not support that format so you must remember this thing about that okay or it is similar to the images also some applications supports jpg format image some applications supports P, png format right so you must know all those things before start the design right and next trade off trade off means it is a balance between goals and the constraints okay means proper goals and proper constraints must be follow and it depends on choice of the users right so these are the needs of interaction design before start the designing of particular product particular application you must remind all those things clear next next part is golden rules of design golden rules of design must involve understand material there are two types of material like understand people and understand computer before start the design you must know the requirement of that particular product okay so understand people means to understanding psychological social aspects human error emotions and also a work area there are some uh, application that must be used in only organization like a reservation system this kind of application used in airport reservation train reservation so each and every application has particular peoples and particular work area right you must understand all those things and next is understand computers understand computers include limitations capacity platform processors to understand tools framework storage etc right suppose you have to design a particular product like android product so you must know the environment android studio or which types of frameworks are used so this all kind of information you must know before start the design of that particular applications right and their interaction you must know about how people are interacted towards that particular application or uh, people are interacted to the computer clear you must know all those things about that next hci design frameworks in your syllabus it includes five main design frameworks of hci that is software design process framework prototyping techniques wire framing ui layer and its execution framework and model view controller framework and these all points are included in your fourth unit i will explain each and every framework or all those five framework in my next video one by one so you must just remind all those things these are the five frameworks design frameworks of human computer interaction software design process framework prototyping wire framing execution and mvc framework right i will explain in my next video one by one next so you understood each and every points of introductory points of interaction design keep practicing 